Well, hello and welcome to I Love Gay Today. And we are with my friend Scott Fullerton, Youngstown, Ohio. How are you, Scott? I'm fantastic, Matt. Thank you so much for having me on the show. I appreciate it. Well, absolutely. You know, you and I go way back. And uh, it's actually way before I was doing any of this stuff. I was just doing the, the, the tr my traditional LGBT marketing and so forth. But you were out there just really pushing some of the boundaries in this new media world with your uh, uh, podcast, uh, Left of Straight. Well, thank you. I started, uh, God, it's been eight years now, and I started on a whim. I, my dad had gotten really sick, and I had to move back home to take care of him, and he was sleeping all the time, so I needed something to do with my time while he was sleeping. I was listening to podcasts like Del Shores and Emerson Collins and everything, doing some great stuff, and I thought, let's kind of dip my toe in. It was still kind of new, or at least not too many LGBT podcasts at the time. That's always been a passion of mine, yeah. so... Decided to try it, and it's been fun ever since. I was going to say, you must have done more than dip your toe in it, because you've even had Dell Shores on your show, right? One of my favorites. Dell is uh, so much fun to talk to. For those that aren't familiar with his Sorted Lives trilogy now, back in the time it was one. Now he's done three different versions of it. And yeah, he's become a great friend of the show and a great friend of mine. In fact, I'm probably going out to see him in October. His Dell Shores Foundation is sponsoring the star for Leslie Jordan on the Walk of Fame in Palm Springs in oh, wow. October. Wow. So, but I mean, you've had a, a you know, because it's a it's a small world in the LGBT, not just business world, but just uh, our our world in general. I mean, you've had Jason Stewart and, you know, being from L.A. originally, I, I know him very well. And uh, you've had some really good names on your show. Well, thanks. I, I've it's honestly been very lucky. Like eight years ago, you and I know social media was still relatively young. You could actually reach out to people through Twitter and Instagram was barely happening. They'd actually get back to you. And so you'd ask and be on the show. And of course, the LGBTQ community has always been kind of underrepresented in media sometimes, less than our own. So uh, a lot of um, celebrities and personalities were just very kind and generous and agreed to come on the show early on. Yeah. When you just said that, you reminded me, I'm sure both of us remember Friendster and MySpace. And and now over right. the last less than a week here, we're, you and I know you're there. We're both on threads. That's an interesting thing. I'm feeling too old for it. But yeah, I, I just don't know if I can handle another social media, to be honest with you, Matt. But you got to you got to be on there when you're in the media world. You need to make sure you're where the pulse is. And I think 10 million or something jillion people in million. 100 million in five days. That's incredible. It is. It is. It's insane. But it also shows because, you know, I'm going to I'm going to create another video later that talks about the fact that, I mean, think about it back in the day when there was just snaps and then they became kind of stories. And then there was uh, TikToks, which have become reels and shorts. But nothing has ever really become from from tweets. They've always it's just been one platform. But for the very first time now, it's kind of spun off. Uh -huh. I don't know what we're going to call them, but um but that whole world of threads and tweets that uh, it really it really shows by getting 100 million folks into an app that's all by itself. It's not integrated in the others. It really shows the power, but it shows that it's going to be a very interesting ride over the next year or two to see where all this goes. It really is. And the fun thing now, I mean, I've never been on the inside before the beginning of something. And so the the companies don't have their ad budget set for it. And so it's still very ad free and it's really just yep. content based on the people in there. So that's been kind of fun for me to be able to see everyone just kind of go from scratch and just actually talk real things and not have to go with every other thing being sponsored. Right. Oh, I hear you. No, it's, it's, it's going to be fun <laughs> for a little while. So but even back to you and all that stuff, I mean, because that's, I, I noticed, like I said, you're on there is another touch point is what I would call it. But you've got, um, because you've done some great things right now, you've got things like rainbow rundowns and so forth, but you've also done something that uh, I thought that was very cool when you went to Palm Springs and you've had your big gay road trips. That was very exciting. And uh, Pink Media was nice my third year to be a media sponsor and kind of get the word out. But uh, I got very lucky. I invited the um, owner of a a gay resort down in Palm Springs to be on my show to kind of talk about different things you can do during the summer. And we just struck up a friendship over the course of the interview. And he said, well, why don't you bring your show down for a month? And I will, Palm Springs, we know is about 8,000 degrees on June, July, and August. So yep. he said, if you want to come down for a month, one of those three months, I'd be more than happy to host you and host some guests you might want to bring in. So I turned into this big gay road trip from Ohio, Northeast Ohio, where I'm based all the way to Palm Springs, kind of stopped at little gay events along the way, and then did a month worth of shows live from uh, Palm Springs. It was a wonderful time. 
Oh, I love hearing that. As a side note, that's one of my favorite places. Uh, oh. I, I don't live on the West Coast anymore, but being from LA originally, I'd, uh, I've been to Palm Springs many, many times. Right. Oh, it's a beautiful place. I mean, like I said, it's warm in the summer, but it's beautiful the rest of the time. I mean, they don't even do their Pride Festival till November when it finally cools down enough for that to happen. <laughs> I'm going to be there, by the way, just putting a mental note out there. I'm going to be there uh, for Pride this year, but we're also going to work together with uh, Brad over at Gay Desert Guide and KG 106.5. And we're gonna we're gonna host a, a kind of an event and and do some uh, do some stuff to bring folks together there right before Pride. Oh, let me know. I'd love to come down for that. Like I said, I'm going to be there late October. Um, I think I uh, talked about Leslie Jordan's star event. I think it's going to be the week before Pride. Be oh. Leslie Jordan's star on the Walk of Fame. So I'm going to try to make a week or two out of it then. Yeah. But that's good. Those timing. guys have been doing yeah, and they've been doing such great things. Kege and uh, the Gay Desert Guide. There, it's really um, brought a lot of recognition to the area there. Oh yeah, no, it's incredible the changes that have gone on there. Um, but yeah, even for you, like you, you've you've got almost nine years under your belt now. And uh, uh, anything fun uh, that we have in store for us for the rest the rest of the year and in the near future? Rest of the year, I'm going to try to go to New York. I have not taken to New York yet. Uh, I've been to LA and Palm Springs. My very first year, because I did all audio interviews, I never really got to see anyone. Yeah. So after my first year, I went to LA and I hosted a big party at Mickey's, one of the gay bars down there, and invited all my guests from that year on and had about 30 or 40 of my guests for the first year. So that was a lot of fun. Yeah. And then Palm Springs. And then I'm such a huge Broadway boy, Matt, that I really want to get my next time going to New York, find a space I can go to New York and bring on live some of my Broadway friends and yeah. people that I've always wanted to talk to. Well, that's only a two hour drive from me now. So uh, I would love to see you out there. Oh, that would be amazing. I'd love to have you down there. It's only six and a half hours from Youngstown. I'm surprised I don't go there more often, but yeah, uh, yeah. it's, it's going to be exciting. Excellent. Well, I love what you're doing and I look forward to continuing to see because I mean, you are you are on all the platforms. You're on Spotify, you're on Apple, Apple Podcasts, and now, of course with the video. So you've, you've left no stone unturned. Thank you, sir. Yes, we did video for the first time this year. So YouTube is a new adventure for us and Spotify video. So yeah. all those places are a lot of fun now. Excellent. Well, I look forward to checking out more and uh, staying on top of everything you're working on and uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Well, we appreciate everything that I Love Gay does. I mean, you guys are amazing over there. And thank you very much for uh, stopping by. I appreciate it. You got it. Good seeing you here. Talk to you.